Hey, this is my Cricut 113. This is my cabin air filter, that one. That one is too, but I haven't put that in yet. But this is my old one. And they say in the uh, the manual uh, to change it every 12 months, but uh, I really think uh, six months, <clears throat> every, every six months probably is a good idea. Or maybe you gearheads out there would know a different uh, time to change the indoor cabin filter on your vehicle. Uh, I got a Subaru here, so mine's right behind the glove compartment. It's pretty easy to take the door of the glove compartment off to get to the filter. So this is an easy job, but a dealership will charge you $90 to do this simple job you can do at home. And that's a $20 filter, so you do the math. But man, this is terrible, terrible as you can see. The backside, not too bad, but... Uh, the front side where it's taken all the dirt from the outside and then also the inside all the dust and debris and whatnot because you see there's some leaves in there as well uh not good definitely swapping that out it was getting pretty stinky in there so change your if your vehicle has one and most modern cars and foreign cars have the indoor cabin air filter maybe you should check your manual check find out where it is and swap it out You'll feel better breathing wise and your car will too. Your it's gonna affect your, your air conditioning, your uh your window exhaust and everything else. So change those filters. This is my cricket one one three seven three. Have a good one.